uh, now I'm happy to be back. And of course, we're having a lot of fun. Wine, art, music, mm -hmm. and microbrew all in one place. I'm not talking about the wedding. I'm talking about Wham Fest this summer. Ooh. The Summer Festival is back and celebrating its 12th year at Craig Park in Greenwood. And it's going to be good. Wow, 12 years the event supports community organizations while highlighting local businesses like the one our Randall Newsome mm -hmm. is standing in. Hey, Randall. Hey guys, I'm standing here in Oak and Barrel. We're, we're behind the scenes a little bit, Quan. You brought us behind the scenes. Yeah, How are you feeling? Brought you right into the brewery. Yeah. Right in the middle of the action here. <laughs> yes, so. sir. How long have you been a part of Wham Fest? This will be our 12th year since day one. Wow, wow. For you, uh, what is it about Wham Fest that keeps bringing you back every time it's celebrating? Oh, man, the music, uh, the crowd, the food, mm -hmm. uh, of course, the beer yep. and wineries uh, and the art. It's, you know, it's just a great combination and it's a which is a fun day of festival. Awesome. Now, we're going to go a little bit more behind the scenes with you here in just a little bit, but we're going to get into the cause behind this thing. I'm here with Susan. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Okay, so Sertoma Club of Greenwood, um, for you guys, the cause behind this event that's happening every year, what is that cause for those who don't know? Absolutely. So this is an all-charity event. All net proceeds are actually donated back to the community. So since the event started, more than $890,000 has been donated to different organizations. So folks have probably seen that splash pad in Greenwood, brand new, it's phenomenal. $20,000 was sent to that charity. Wow, wow. To, to also be able to highlight uh, places like Oak and Barrel and all our, lo our local breweries and, and, and art and music, uh, what does that mean to you to be able to make that happen on the weekend? Gosh, there's nothing better than wine, art, music, and microbrews. I can't think of a better day to spend with all of the folks outside celebrating, enjoying music, and living life. So it's it's a great day. It's a great event. Okay. Now you recommended. I'm I'm not actually you know a, a connoisseur of the beers, but but you kind of have have put me on game a little bit. Now Kwong, uh, there there's a beer standing over there right now. Um, what can you tell folks about that beer? It's our uh, raspberry wheat beer. We uh, we've been brewing it for 27 years before the craft beer was cool we were one of the first to do our fruit beer wow. and that beer is one of many many awards and uh and you know it's fun to see other breweries follow our lead and they're making you know from grapefruit to uh you know orange to tangerine beers and um just come on you know uh, come to Wemfest and try one for yourself and oh, so, oh, we're gonna see what all the hype is about right yeah, yeah. now i can't i can't necessarily test out the uh <laughs> i can't i can't test that out over there until after the cameras go off so ladies we're gonna we're gonna send it back to y'all for now what were you about to say Quan? we got your growlers you can take home drink okay, it okay okay yeah we can we can take that uh off camera and to make oh. sure that it gets uh, winky wink. You way. know, we'll, I we'll, we'll feel like Randall and beer sounds mm -hmm. like a really good time. I, I do. <laughs> I think that's a like killer a good combination. Time. <laughs> that's a party right there. Oh man, Randall, don't have too much fun. We gotta still check in with you a little later.